What's up guys, Arnar Horror Hunter aka Steve, back at you yet again with another video, and this is going to be my review, uh, both Blu-ray edition review and movie review of the 1983 cult classic slasher film with twisted sexuality and crazy kills, Sleepaway Camp. Now, Sleepaway Camp, as I said, was made in 1983. Um... Directed and written by Robert Hilsick, uh, starring uh, as Angela Baker, Felissa Rose, and starring as Ricky, uh, the uh, a very young Jonathan Tierston, um, who, by the way, just to plug one of my favorite YouTube shows, uh, is going to be doing a live com with the Sausage Factory on, I believe, the 24th uh, of this month. Um, for the original Sleepaway Camp and talking about the Sleepaway Camp legacy and all this awesome stuff, so definitely go check that out. But anyway, stars those people, directed by Robert Hiltzik. Um First off, I just want to say, I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna explain the plot because it's just so over the top, so weird. Uh, I guess, well, I guess I'll say just a little bit. Uh, so Angela Baker. Uh, is a young girl. She's probably uh, just entering teenage age, perhaps a little bit younger than that. Um, and her dad and brother have been killed in a uh, um, boating accident uh, years and years ago uh, when she was very young. And she is raised by this crazy woman by the name of Aunt Martha. Now, Aunt Martha is the mother of Ricky. Ricky is a perfectly adjusted, normal kind of uh, preteen boy, uh, whereas Aunt Martha is a psychopath who, who thinks that she's a doctor. We're not exactly sure what kind of doctor, but she thinks she's a doctor. Um, and Angela grows up, you know, she's very quiet, and it just happens that they are going away to the same camp where her uh, brother and father died. And, uh, after that, killings ensue, very awesome makeup effects, um, and, yeah, just interesting stuff going on at Sleepaway Camp. A lot of twisted sexuality and stuff in there, um, so, yeah. On to really what I thought about the movie, though. The movie is, yeah, it's cheesy. It's got some cheesy acting, got some cheesy dialogue, uh, the directing is very minimalist, I mean... When you think John Carpenter, you think minimalist. Well, this is more minimalist than John Carpenter. Uh, the editing, though, is fantastic. Um, there's a scene where you can see a boat floating by, and then, just without a beat, uh, it's staring at this uh, really dark water at night, so you can't see the cut. And that's... I don't know if that can be attributed to the editing or not, but... It's just a really cool shot where you see it come by, and then a little bit later, it comes by the same spot without missing a beat. doesn't look like the camera cuts at all, but yeah, it's really cool. Uh, but overall, like I said, the direction is very minimalist, but for some reason, it's really, really nice. Uh, I really like the directing in here. I think Robert Hiltzik did a very good job with his directing style. Uh, yes, minimalist, but... You know, in in that same way, it just works. I don't know. It's uh, it's just hard to explain. Um, the acting in here, like I said, some of it's cheesy, but overall, I mean, I think the lead actors especially do a pretty good job. Yeah, Jonathan Tierston is a little cheesy, you know, but you know, I think that he gave a good performance anyway. Uh, uh, Felissa Rose did a fantastic job as Angela. That's an iconic role. Um, I love Aunt Martha. She, like, uh, Desiree Gold just did a fantastic job as of Aunt Martha, and I don't think anybody else could do something as good as that. Um, let's see. Uh, I can't remember the woman who plays Judy, or, uh, the actress who plays Judy, but she does a really, really good job. And, uh, I think she's actually the best performer in the entire bunch. Uh, the kills are fantastic. My favorite one, personally, has got to be, um, probably, uh, the beehive kill. 
Uh, if you don't know what that is, there's a guy sitting in a beehive, uh, not sitting in a beehive, but he's sitting in a uh, bathroom stall, and all of a sudden, this person cuts through um, a, uh, uh, a screen that's uh, behind the bathroom stall as kind of a, an air opening, so it don't smell that bad. Uh, so, uh, they cut through it with a knife, and then stick in this, uh, this beehive on a stick and starts waving it. The guy, he's going crazy, he's too paranoid to, I guess, crawl underneath to get out, but, uh, he eventually breaks through the door, falls down, and, man, just really great makeup effects showing the beehive, uh, the bee sting damage. So, really, really weird but very good kill, very unusual, but I think it works quite well. And uh, I just want to say, uh, this is one of my favorite slashers of all time, and I'm going to give it a good 3.5 out of 5. I definitely recommend it to anybody who wants to see a good old-fashioned uh, slasher film with some little extra stuff put in. Uh, it's cheesy, it's funny, uh, it's twisted, the ending is absolutely fantastically strange, uh, as I'm sure most of you have already heard, uh, and, uh, yeah, I just want to share with you really quick, though, uh, I did, uh, show this movie to, uh, with some friends, uh, me and, a, and two other friends of mine, and, uh, they were blown away by it, they, <laughs> they absolutely loved it, because it was both cheesy and just a fun horror movie, so, you know, and these are guys who don't usually watch horror movies, so, I'm going to say that this is a pretty darn good movie. Like I said, 3.5 out of 5. Fun. Definitely something that you need to check out. Uh, the only reason it's 3.5 and not 4 or 5 is mostly for the, uh, for the little bit of bad acting that is in there and uh, the very, sometimes very cheesy writing. Uh, Alright, so that's the end of the actual movie review. Let's get to the Blu-ray itself. Now, this was, of course, given out by Scream Factory, um, actually last month, I think. Actually, no, I think it was two months ago, actually. Uh, but it, it, it took a long time for me to get this because uh, Hastings was being jerky. <laughs> but, first off, I want to talk about the cover art. Now, the cover art is absolutely fantastic. Nathan Thomas Milner does a great job with all his newly uh, commissioned artworks. And this is definitely, I think, the best that he's ever done. It's so perfect. Uh, it just shows the entire, um, uh, pretty much the entire movie in this cover. It's just, it's so great. Uh, there's the spine. You can see part of the newly commissioned artwork there. The back. All the special features, descriptions, review, and again the spine, and let's look at the original artwork because that's what Sleepaway, uh, not Sleepaway Camp, but that's what Screen Factory does best uh, a lot of the times. They give you that original key art. So yeah, fantastic poster art there. I love that tagline and I absolutely love this um, this letter at the top. Of course the shoe on the knife is an iconic picture uh, that scared so many people uh, even just sitting in the video store. There's the side the spine and the back. Not too different. And let's look at the inside on the discs here. We've got Blu-ray and DVD. It is a combo pack, which is really cool. Uh, for you guys who don't have a Blu-ray player, um, yeah, definitely worth it just to pick it up for the DVD because that's still a pretty darn good transfer. So there we go with the Blu-ray and DVD. Of course, the newly commissioned artwork is on the inside now. Uh, by the way, I just want to say I did get a Blu-ray player, so I was able to watch this in Blu-ray and get a really good first-hand experience with the Blu-ray transfer, and man, it is awesome. Uh, I, I mean, the first time I watched this was actually on YouTube, and it had a lot of grain, uh, had a lot of, you know, well, obvious, because it's, you, you know, YouTube, 
uh, a lot of lag and stuff like that. But this just blew me away. The colors are absolutely fantastic. Very, very uh, big, bright colors. Very, very much an 80s movie because you can see all those, excuse me, colors. Uh, now let's get into really quick, because uh, I'm at 10 minutes already, the special features. Uh, like I said, the new 2K scan of the original camera negative, very good transfer. I love it. Uh, new commentary with stars Felissa Rose and Jonathan Tiersten. Uh, that's a fantastic commentary. Original commentary with director-writer Robert Hiltzik, Felissa Rose, and webmaster Jeff Hayes. Um, I think that's actually split into two different um, commentaries, and, you know, I, I like both of them, uh, but I haven't completed both of them yet, so... Still, I think, worth it for just the commentaries, I think. Um, new interviews with the cast and crew, uh, and I think that's mostly interview... I mean, that's mostly, uh, packed into the, um, the making of, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Red Shirt Pictures, for making this fantastic, um, making of. Uh, Sleepaway Camp Scrapbook, uh, which is pretty much just pictures from the set, and it's really cool stuff. Uh, short film Judy by Jeff Hayes. Awful acting uh, by everybody except the woman who plays Judy. Uh, and bad directing, but it's fun to watch anyway. It's a fun little watch, and uh, it's got a good message to it, so it's nice and fun just to have there. Uh, theatrical trailer and more, and in involved in the and more is a music video by Jonathan Tiersen, who is, as plenty of you I'm sure know, uh, is actually a recording artist nowadays, and uh, actually his music is pretty darn good, it's not bad at all. And I definitely uh, ask you to check that out, because it's some nice stuff. Uh, yeah, the music video is a little cheesy and stuff like that, but, you know, I really like it, and I, I think the uh, music is definitely worth listening to. So that, guys, is my review of Scream Factory's release of Sleepaway Camp and my review of the movie itself. Uh, definitely check it out. Pick up the release if you haven't already. I know there's a lot of people who have. Um, yeah, Sleepaway Camp is an awesome movie. And check out the Sausage Factory's live com with star um, Jonathan Tiersten on the 24th of this month. Uh, it's going to be really cool, guys. Rock on. If you like, subscribe. See you later, and keep on with the summer of fear.